Hey guys, welcome to the video. So I've been scanning social media sites all weekend. I've been researching these stocks all weekend. And I finally know what I'm going to do tomorrow and I know the plan for this week. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys my full plan and what I'm planning to do this week. Stocks I plan to buy, stocks I plan to sell, options that I plan to place, and when to buy and sell each one of these stocks. I think we have some crazy gains in store this week and some potential plays that we can make three to 400% gain on. So I'm super excited about the plays that I have for you this week and let's get into the video. So the first stock I'm going to talk about is Sea Energy Maritime Holdings Corporation, ticker symbol SHIP. I call this ship stock. So the reason that I'm playing ship stock is because their earnings are on Thursday. I'm super bullish on these earnings. I've been looking into the stock since the beginning of June and I've been trying to play their earnings and since then. I think they're going to absolutely destroy earnings and I see over 100% upside on this stock. So Sunday, so Sunday morning news came out that ship just doubled their fleet and this is just added on top of the amazing earning numbers that I believe they're going to have. So I am super excited for how hyped investors will get. I see upside of 50 cents before earnings because of the hype wave riding up and I see upside of $1 after earnings. Now that's the maximum upside in my opinion. Now there is substantial downside being a penny stock. But some other news that came out recently is their NASDAQ deal got extended until September 25th. So this means that if they're not $1 by September 25th, they will be delisted from the NASDAQ and then will be traded over the counter or OTC. So why is this good news? Well, they're supposed to have $1 a lot sooner than that and it got extended. So the fact that we now have months to reach until September and we have months to reach $1, this is so much more comfortable for investors to put money in than if we were gonna have to reach $1 next week and then we get delist delisted. So this is another bullish thesis on this stock. So I plan to buy in very, very heavy um, leading up to Thursday earnings. I would like to get, build out a full position uh, at the beginning of the week. I do have a pretty good sized position that I built out on Friday of last week. I'm averaging around 18, 19 cents a share. I would like to, I don't care about my average as long as it's in the low 20s. Um, but I would like to get five to 10,000 shares at least of ship stock before earnings. The next stock I'm talking about is Syntex Technologies, ticker symbol S-I-N-T. So Synstock is a biopharmaceutical company and they had successful testing yesterday, which was on Saturday. So on Monday, I'm expecting a huge pop, at least 200%, if not 300%. I do believe it's gonna be one of the hottest stocks on Monday and an easy 100% gain day trade. If you buy in pre-market, right the wave all the way up, I'm not sure if I would hold until Tuesday. I'm not, I'm not sure if I would hold overnight. The reason is I would like to secure profits because I do, be like, I do feel like this will be a huge profit gainer. But I'll throw some straight shots up top and show you guys the release of the product that had success. Um, they are a biopharmaceutical company. They do have um, some very interesting products. It's hard to explain because I'm not a biopharmaceutical pro, but I did read into this. I'm not gonna go deep detail because that would take a very, very long time. And I'm just going through these plays very quickly so you guys get as much information as in little time. And yeah, easy 200% gain tomorrow. I do plan to build out its position pre-market and probably sell when it reaches one to two hundred percent gain where I double my money. So that's the plan on SINT stock. So one more bio stock that I want to throw in here is the Fusion Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol DFFN. I'm not gonna go into a deep dive on this one, but they did release very good news this weekend. And it is a social media gem, so this could be a big pump and dump. So you could ride the wave up on the pump and then sell out before the dump happens. So this is just a quick day trade to be aware of and a social media research gem. All right, let's get into my next big play. The next big play I'll be making this week is I plan to build a substantial size position in Genius, ticker symbol GNUS, this week. The reason because of this is because Genius earnings is on June 30th. Now, the stock has risen from less than a dollar to $11, and now it's back down to around $3. I'm very bullish on the prices right now because there is absolutely no more hype around the stock, but there should be a lot of hype. From what I'm hearing, the Cartoon Channel is performing greatly and they have millions of toys that will reach shelves in the coming months. Look up the website, look up the company website, and look up these toys. These toys could be a hit as long as these kids like this TV channel and Cartoon Channel. Um, but it will be interesting to see how they hype investors up on June 30th earnings. And I do feel like hype could build uh, this week leading into next week. So we could have anywhere from 20 to 80% gain this week just on hype leading into earnings because one thing that Genius Brands uh, management does know how to do is hype investors up. As we saw, they pumped their stock up from $1 to $11. Any, any management team that can hype investors up that much with 1100% gain can do anything and with an earnings call, they will excel. So that's my thesis on this. 
If we do have big gains, I'll sell for earnings, but if not, I'll hold through earnings and reap the benefits of that hype earnings call, which is my bullish thesis on the stock. One more bullish take on Genius Brands is that after hours on Friday, we saw somebody buy 1 million shares of Genius Brands, which is very interesting. As you see the picture right there. So people do have faith in this, and this could get pumped up once again, leading into earnings. All right, the next stock I'm gonna talk about is IDEonomics, ticker symbol IDEX. I made its own video. I took a deep dive on this stock earlier this weekend, and I did tell you guys this is my favorite penny stock to buy and hold right now. So I do plan to buy in pre-market on Monday, build a very big size position, and just hold unless it gets pumped crazy, crazy, which over $5 this week, I would probably sell out, take profits. But I do expect $10 within the next few months. We will see how that goes. If you want more info on this stock, check out the video that I posted earlier. I call it the best penny stock to buy now because this is my favorite penny stock to buy now. The risk reward ratio is amazing for this stock. So the next stock I'm gonna talk about is Canopy Growth Corporation, ticker symbol CGC. So this does not have the most upside short term, but if this uh, takes any potential dips this week, I'll be buying it heavy and holding this long term. I'm very bullish on the cannabis industry long term. And I believe by the end of this year, we should see $30 for Canopy Growth Corporation with their CBD drinks coming out and a lot of hype surrounding that. So the next stock that I wanna build a pretty good size position in this week is Jumia Technologies, ticker symbol with JMIA. Just last year, the stock was $26. Over the la lifetime of this stock, it's high as $50, which is insane. And now it's back down to $6. So there's crazy high upside, there's crazy high value with this stock. It is kind of the Amazon of Africa, so I'll be buying into this stock as a buy and hold long term and potential 500% gainer within the next two years, um, if not more than that. So this is very high upside, very low downside, long term hold. I love Jumia Technologies at these prices. So the next stock I'm going to go through real quick is Penn National Gaming, ticker symbol PENN. So my bullish thesis is quarter three earnings call. We see the Barstool Sports app announce its release. So that's what I'm expecting. I do expect this stock to almost double after hearing that announcement. So that's my bullish thesis on that. And I do plan to build a substantial position um, during the quarter, before the quarter three's earnings call. And I would like to start a pretty small position this week and then build up leading into that earnings call in a good amount of months. So it is down the road, but I want to prepare and be able to ride the hype wave up leading into earnings. The next stock I'm gonna talk about is Raytheon Technologies, ticker symbol RTX. So this is another stock, great value. It's been hit hard this year. Uh, looking at a sector, it is the most undervalued and it does have the most growth opportunity. I love the opportunity of this stock. I am looking to build a pretty good sized long position. Um, start off small and just increase, increase, especially if the stock keeps on dipping, I'll increase my position even more, but it should be on the bounce back very, very soon. And I do see solid, steady gains in the coming months and years. All right, so real quick, what happens if the market crashes this week? What should you do? I, I advise you not to go heavy into puts, but what I would do is ticker symbol UDOW, buy one or two put option contracts on UDAO, this times the Dow by three, and placing put options tracks the downward movement. So leveraging your money, you can bet on the Dow times three going down. So I advise only give one to two contracts to hedge your portfolio, but this could have some crazy gains if the stock market does crash. So this is a great way to hedge, but I, but I highly advise not to bet on the stock market going down and not try and make money off that. As of right now, I would just plan to hedge your portfolio and make sure you don't lose a ton of losses. And my prediction for this week is we will open right on Monday, probably down a percent or so, and then we'll have another up and down week. Uh, as we saw with the kangaroo market type thing on CNBC, uh, it's just up, down, up, down. I expect this to continue this week. We may close slightly red, we may close slightly green. I do expect to see a lot of volatility and a lot of up and down movements. I don't expect any huge crashes this week and I do not expect any huge gains this week. All right, and my favorite stocks that I have a full position in already, but if you have not, I will look into these, do your research on these, and these are my favorite stocks to buy and hold long term. So the first one is GAN, ticker symbol G-A-N. I love this plan on sports betting. I do expect it to be $50 um, in a year or so. They have a deal with Fandle, they have a software behind these sports betting companies. They had an amazing earning call. Soon they'll be announcing their next big client. They are already affiliated with Fandle and a bunch of these Native American betting facilities. So I expect some crazy growth opportunity. I do see $50 plus, it's at $26 right now. I see $50 plus in the pretty near future, one year or so. And I see this stock as a potential 400% within the next five years. This is my favorite stock to buy in the market right now. My second favorite stock to buy in the market right now is Peloton, ticker symbol PTON. So this stock has crazy high upside, almost no downside, whether we have a second wave of the Rona. Peloton will not be getting hit hard. Peloton takes advantage of people staying home, has set home workout play. And with people here to be going to gyms, I do expect there to be a slight second wave 
So people will be more hesitant to go to gyms. People will be more willing and ready to work out at home, stay at home, and potentially a full another quarantine. We already saw a few countries uh, lock up once again. So Peloton is an amazing play. I do expect $80 um, by the end of August or September or so, especially after the earnings call, which is the beginning of August. That is my bullish thesis. I believe we'll see a pop just like we saw last earnings call, which was insane and I made 300% gains on my options in that scenario. My next, one of my favorite stocks is Activision Blizzard, ticker symbol ATVI. So this is a big play on the video game space. They are very highly valued, but at the same time I see them experience much more growth opportunity and very, very little downside. Once again, it's another stay at home stock. It benefits people staying at home playing video games. Uh, there's also the two consoles coming out this year, the new Xbox and the new PS5 coming out this holiday season. So I expect Activision Blizzard to have a ton of game sales. Um, they're also a big play on, on phone apps and phone games. So people are really doing that right now, just staying at home doing that. Especially if there's a second wave, people will be stuck at home only to play video games. So I'm super bullish on Activision. Not the highest upside, but almost no downside. It's just a safe stock to put your money into and get some solid gains out of it. Alright, two more socks that I wanted to throw in here for you to watch. I'm watching these. I'm not planning on making any positions yet, but if these stocks drop or if I see a big opportunity coming soon, I will start a position in these two stocks. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Energy Transfer, ticker symbol ET. This is my favorite oil stock. I've looked deep into this. I've researched this one a ton. Um, there's amazing social surrounding it. There's amazing balance sheet, income statement, and technicals. This is very undervalued as a stock. My favorite play on oil and a very safe stock to put your money into and reap the benefits of oil going up. The next stock I'm going to talk about is Live Nation, ticker symbol LYV. I'm very hesitant in starting a position in this one as of right now. Reason is because if we do see the Rona second wave, this stock will get destroyed once again. They own almost all the concert venues and as of right now, they can't be holding concerts. So they are almost getting no revenue, but at the same time, when concerts do come back and we see a full bounce back, this is probably one of my favorite bounce back stocks. Um, people will be super excited to go to concerts, we'll be playing super high ticket prices on Ticketmaster and all those SeatGeek sites that this company owns and I'm super bullish on this as a bounce back play. Now I am hesitant because it does seem like a second wave is imminent at the moment, but I love this as a bounce back play and we can see potential 2x within the next two years or so. If it gets down to $40, I'm looking very heavily. If the stock gets down to $40, I will start a very good size position in this stock. So a lot of people have been asking me. So I want to talk about one more stock that a lot of people have been asking me about, and that is SHLL. I've looked deep into the stock. I've looked into the social aspect of this. Now looking at social media, it, this does seem like a pump and dump. People are just trying to hype this up, get investors excited. Now there is a catalyst behind it, but it's still not a catalyst to make the stock rocket up that much. So I am expecting a drop off at any point, and I would advise you to be very careful when putting money in this stock, and I personally will not be investing in trading this stock. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I put a ton of work and research into these videos, I've been researching all weekend for this one. So please drop a like, please subscribe, I would appreciate it greatly, it helps me out so so much. If you're interested in joining the stock group, the link is down below, $4.99 a month. For plays like this every single day, I give my play for the next day every single night. I give portfolio updates every single day and every time I buy and sell a stock, I let the group know, usually before I buy or sell. So the link is down below if you're interested in that. If you want two free stocks on Webull, the link is down below for that as well. Get your two free stocks. What I use Webull for is I use it for pre-market trading. So Webull allows you to use to buy stocks four and a half hours before the market opens. So I will usually get to the hype stocks four and a half, as soon as I can when before the market opens ride the hype up of market open and then usually sell out midday and this is a way that I've run 100% profits not too long ago and I plan to do this a ton in the future and this is a great strategy um, the pre-market buys and the midday sells so the Webull link is down there please use my link it benefits me I do get a free stock when you get your two free stock that's an amazing way to support the channel also you guys best of luck to you this week let's get some crazy gain and good luck to the stock group especially I'll keep in touch let you guys know my plays every single night so let's get rich baby